Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you an overview of how to use one of my favorite tools, and that is Edpuzzle. You can find it at edpuzzle.com. provides a great way to create lessons based on videos that you've made or videos that you find online. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to log in as a teacher. And as you can see here, you can use your Google account, an Edmodo account, or use any email account that you have to sign up and sign in for the service. Now here, I've just used my Google account. And let's first of all, take a look at classes. And that's over on the right hand side here. Click on my classes and you can see here, I can import my roster from Google Classroom if I'd like, or I can make a class manually. Let's call it my April 2019 demo class. Now we'll add the class and let's add some students. So my students can join by using this class code. I can give them that link. I can also email it to them. And that of course will open my email client on my computer to do that. Now let's take a look at how the student would see this. So the student might go to the link that has the code already added to it. And the student can sign in Again, using a Google account, an Edmodo account, or any other type of email or username. And let's use my dog Mason's account just for the sake of demonstration here. And that's Mason barking in the background. Now let's hit the join button. And here in the student account, we see that there are no assignments yet to do. We'll come back to this in a moment. All right, so we'll close out the invite code and let's go ahead and take a look at how we can now create content and give assignments to students. So if, we, if I refresh this, I click on students, we'll see I now have that one student here in the class. So let's take a look at how we can give out some assignments and create some lessons. So let's go up here to the upper right corner, click on content, and you can use existing lessons and videos if you like. So let's say I'm, I find this video here and I want to take a look at it we'll see that this is a lesson that someone already made and made it publicly available for other teachers to use. We'll see some questions in it. And we find those by just clicking on the question marks here. And if we want to use that, we can simply click on copy to my content. And now that appears here in my content. And now that I've selected it, I can assign that to my students. So we'll see here that I've selected the video and now I can assign it. When I click the assign button, it brings up all of the classes that I have. I'll assign it to my April 2019 demo class. And I have turned on prevent skipping, which will prevent my students from fast forwarding to the question and trying to lucky guess at the question as opposed to just watching the video and then answering the question. So I'll assign it. And here I can see now that Mason has not watched any of it. And that's because he hasn't looked at his account yet. So here's the student account. Student now sees that there's an assignment for him or her to complete. Now when they click on that, they'll be able to watch the video and answer these questions. 
but there are other ways for you to add content to your Edpuzzle account and other ways for you to build lessons. So I've selected content and let's click on my content over here on the left hand side. And I'm going to now choose add content and I can upload a video that I've made. Now obviously you can only upload or you should only upload videos that you've created or have the rights to republish. So let's choose a file. And here I'm going to upload a video from my desktop. I'll use this one here. And once that's uploaded, I can then build questions into it. And so that's what we're going to do right now when this video is uploaded. Now that my video is uploaded, let's click on the edit button and this is where Edpuzzle really comes alive and this is how you can add your questions. So if you want to, you can use the cropping tool to crop the video. You can add a voiceover. So you do a voiceover on top of the existing voice that's in the video. You can add audio notes, which will just appear as little notes in the timeline of the video as it's played back or you can add a quiz. And so let's add a quiz question and I'll forward it along here to about this point. So let's click on the place marker here and you can add an open-ended question like this one or you can use a multiple choice question. I'll write my question. And you can add multiple options beyond the two that are there by default. And then save it. Now you can repeat that process as many times as you like. If you want to forward it further, click again. You can add an open-ended question, multiple choice question, or just simply write a comment. Now you're done with this, click save, and then click finish to assign it to your class. And we'll assign it that way. And now we see here that Mason has still not done any work. Let's bring up Mason's account again. And now he has two assignments that he has to do here. Now, as the teacher, if I want to go in and look at any of the assignments, I'll just go into my grade book and I can see there's Mason and I can see both of those assignments. Now, if I want to add a due date, I can add a due date to it. Let's call it next Friday at 11 p.m. And we'll hit the save button. So now it has a due date and if Mason is looking at these, he'll now see he has a due date for that assignment. And he has one that doesn't have a due date. And obviously, he has nothing completed. Now, one other question I'm often asked about Edpuzzle is, can I add videos that I found on YouTube outside of Edpuzzle? And you certainly can. To do that, let's say you opened up a YouTube video. Maybe you found this one here by a tour of Google Earth. 
And you can simply now go to the YouTube option and rather than doing a search, you can paste in the link and now you're ready to start adding your voiceover, your audio notes, or your quiz questions into Edpuzzle. So that's a short overview of how you can create lessons using Edpuzzle. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.